Hello guys, today we are reviewing a package, really popular package called Laravel Permission by Spati and we will review it based on the example of another open source project, Mealing, which I started reviewing earlier this week. And without further ado, let's get into it. First, a quick overview. Why would you need Laravel Permission instead of default Laravel features? In default Laravel, you define the gates. So gate define, you do it somewhere, for example, in a service provider, and then you authorize a specific user, for example, like this. If gate allows or not allows or something like that. Laravel permissions package allows you to define the gates immediately like this, and they will be stored in the database. So you don't need any service providers or any storage for the gates, the gates would be automatically created when you use this syntax, which is more readable. So you give permission to a user, you assign a role to a user, or you want to give permission to a specific role. So you can use this package for roles only or for permissions. So there are kind of layers for the authorizations. You can use like admin or simple user and just check which user it is, or you can go deeper into permissions for certain objects, like managing posts or managing projects, or even within the same object, you can allow some user to create projects, but not to delete those. But generally you can use Spotty permissions for both only roles or roles with permissions. Installation of the package is very simple. You just do composer require, then you optionally may publish the provider, but you should publish. What you have to do is publish the migrations and then run the migrations here, artisan migrate. Then it creates such tables. I will open my database. So users doesn't change anything here, but there is model has permissions, model has roles, and here we have polymorphic relations and also role has permissions. So in this case, in this project, I assign a lot of permissions to the roles and also there are permissions. So a few tables on top of users, it doesn't change anything in your existing database tables. The package creates its own kind of ecosystem of four tables. And then in the documentation of basic usage, we see that we need to add a trait to our user model, which we did exactly here in this example project, or in fact, the author did, it wasn't me, Justin did, has roles here and has roles here. And that's all you need to do. From here, you can assign permissions or roles to the users. And where new users get their roles in the create new user action, here in this repository, Justin uses Laravel 45, but it doesn't really matter. Wherever you have the registration of the user like this, you can do user assign role. So you just refer that as name without any role ID or anything you just put in user. Also, there are three Cedar files, which are important for us, where the permissions get stored. So in the Cedar file of permission Cedar, what do we see here? We have array of permissions. And as you can see, each permission has five different sub permissions for roles, managing roles, managing users, managing ingredients, meals, comments, and allergens. So access is general access to the whole menu item to the section. And then whether that user can create, show or view, edit or delete the record. And then for each of the permissions, we create the permissions in the database manually. And then for user permissions, we assign, we give permission to the role. Here the variables are a bit unclear. We create the role, so it should have been role and something like this. We give permissions to the role, not to the specific user. So we do create the role super admin and we will get to that in a minute. Then we create a role of a simple user and then we assign the permission to that user. So as you can see, user doesn't have permissions for things like user management or role management or permission management, only ingredients and meal and comments and for ingredients only create. So in other words, whenever the user gets assigned the role with that role, they have those permissions from permission seater, these ones. Then there's also menu permission seater, which happens a bit later, but I guess it could have been merged into one seater. So we assign the menu management to the user as well. Role find by name is already a method from Spotty package. So we find the role, actually it should have been again, role. My advice is to name the variables correctly because otherwise they are misleading a bit. So we give permissions to role.
And then there's a third seater, which is admin permission seater. And when reviewing that project, I was expecting to find the separate permissions for the admin, but there's only permission create for admin access. That's it. So how does admin get the access? And here we will have an interesting hack around Laravel gates, kind of overriding them. So while reviewing this project, I found that admin access is never actually used anywhere. So probably the author changed their mind about using that. And instead, if we go to permission seater, there's an interesting comment, gets all permission via gate before rule in auth service provider. And I would have kind of missed that comment. I saw that pretty accidentally. And then let's see what's inside of that auth service provider. So we create the role for super admin, but where does it get the permissions? auth service provider. And if we go to the boot method, this is the most important gate before. So we're overriding any gate. So gate denies or gate allows is overridden by this. So before checking any gate, we check the user with ability, which is any ability. If the user has a role of super admin, we return any permission to true any gate, any ability, whatever management, if it's super admin, he has access to everything to any permission. Otherwise, if it's not admin, then it's null, and then basically gate before just is ignored. And then the regular permission system takes place the one that we have just reviewed. So it's an interesting hack how to overwrite any permission or grant any permission to a certain role or even a certain user. So for example, you can do something like that. I wouldn't advise it, but you can assign full permission to a separate user ID or username or user email or whatever. And finally, we get to how to check the permissions and Laravel permission package by Spati is another layer on top of default Laravel behavior. So although you're using the package syntax like give permission to or assign role under the hood, it is saved in the gates and then you can use the gate functionality from default Laravel, like for example, gate denies, or you can use can user can or blade directive at can. So default Laravel syntax, just the permissions are saved in the database. So here's an example of abort if so if gate denies, so if true, then abort if with 403. And there's a shorter way even shorter way how to do that, you can just put this authorize in the controller, allergen access. So a bit shorter, which would perform basically the same thing. So authorize it would check the permission with spicy package. And if it doesn't come through, then it would throw 403 forbidden error. And that's basically all you need to know about Spati permission package. Of course, you can dig deeper and read the documentation. But if you want to learn more about general roles and permissions in Laravel, so gates and policies and how it all works, have a separate video, pretty recent video, but it went pretty popular with 25,000 views. So I advise you to watch that and I will link that in the description below. And also a thing to read a really long time ago, almost four years now, I've written an article on Laravel news, but it's still pretty relevant about the alternative for Laravel permissions by Spati. There's also a bouncer package and maybe there are more, but those two are probably the most popular in Laravel community. So you can check out bouncer as well. It's also popular, supported and well done by Joseph Silber. And if you want more daily videos like this one on this channel, you can subscribe to the channel and support the channel financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen, quick admin panel generator, Laravel Livewire kit set of components, or one of my courses on Teachable, which is currently 19 courses at the moment. See you guys in other videos.